Hello guys, welcome back to another video of uh, making a ton of cash with uh, my twisted bow and yeah, 86 fishing did not get that with the uh, bow, I can confirm, but yeah, just a nice little level coming in there whilst AFKing at uh, a bit of work. And our next is Spory number 77102, so semi-quick, not that quick though. And Kronos and Whiteberries. Decided to invest in a dragon pickaxe and buy that one back. It's much cheaper actually than what I um, got it for in the first place. I think uh, was, uh, I think a lot of items are crashing at the moment. But uh, yeah, that'll be quite useful at Zalcano and also the tormented bracelet. I need to buy that one back too. Nice little drop from the old Abbey Demons. That's a few charges onto my tentacle whip. And our next master clue scroll, first one of the video, 38 for 180k, although we did get a unique, so not the worst. And another master clue straight afterwards, and 328k, a bit better. After a lot of Zora kills with the bow and no drop, we finally got the first one. I think this was after about 200 odd kills of a Tebow. Uh, Tanzanite Fang coming in, so not ridiculously dry. I think that's like my third Tanz Fang now, but uh, it's a drop nonetheless. And one of the four, or one of the six, I should say, actually. Yes, a pet snakeling just four kills later i believe or three kills later uh, one in four thousand so yes i wanted uh, all of the zoro uniques so that's four of them and then you either the pet a jar or a mutagen so two of those four and yeah what a drop that is to uh, get out of the way a pet snake link pet number five on the account and to confirm yes tanzanite fang 752 and pet snake link 755 Couldn't quite follow it up the Espoir. Ballista limbs at the uh, Gorillas, get older, uh, yeah, get the good drop at Zora and then yeah, give me some ballista pieces. And a hard clue, and a master clue from that one. And uh, before that, another Espoir, KC79. And Atas and Limpoit seeds. And more Atas seeds. Our next master clue, had to get a couple of fire making levels to get this one. And 184k, not, yeah, it was worth it, I guess. And a couple of easy clues just been in my bank. 460 GP and 940 GP. As I said, had to get some fire making levels. Got the step where you have to burn a redwood log and I could have plus five boost, but I thought I might as well just go to winter toe and get a couple of levels and um, yeah, essentially have a chance at getting that pet and got myself a broomer torch as well, that's unique. Um, but made, made it so I only needed to get a plus three boost. It's a lot, lot easier to get than add a plus five boost. So just gonna open all of these winter two crates now. I've still only got, I think, one pyromancer piece. Uh, I've got a, yeah, as I said, got the broomer torch and I did get the tome of fire, but I sold that during my um, liquidation in my bank, although I could probably buy that back right now. I've easily got the money, it's quite a cheap item. So just opening these crates, hoping for yeah, either that pet or another pyromancer piece or another tome of fire. And just the eight crates to go. Probably get 90 at some point, so maybe next time I get the step I might then get another couple of levels and um, so on. But a plus three boost is uh, nowhere near as bad as a plus five boost. And that concludes all of the uh, winter two crates from 85 to 87. And that was for a, another master clue, 286k. And back to Skatizo, just doing the last kill of our black demon task here. And some tall styles, ancient shard, and a hard clue. Uh, tall styles are decent, would love more ancient shards though. Espori KC81. And another Atas seed. And our next hard clue scroll, 82k. 80k hundred and ninety K and another Master Clue sixty two K Master Casket number forty two three hundred and one K so about average. There's me in the chat casually uh, enjoying my uh, tennis chat with uh, one of my clan members. Very slow on that one, one twenty five. And another Atas. Our next hard clue gave us some Zamorak Dehyde boots. Very nice. 
decided to come here so I do have the Zalcano pet um, but I thought I'd come here as a chance of getting the tool seed it's the one drop I still need from here although the chances of getting it are quite rare it's a 1 in 200 for the kill but the uh, it's not rolled per player it's rolled per kill and then allocated to a player so that effectively makes it uh, four or five times rare depending on each size of your team just did about a uh, few kills here with uh, some of the clan members and the bennies as well uh, 21 zalcano kills there for 2.65 more uh, decent hard clue there 88k master clue and another mimic oh that was a interesting uh, mimic fight at that time 34 seconds very very good and the Mimic gave us an Occult Ornament Kit. Well, the Mimic didn't give us that, but um, yeah, we'll take it. It's good. Hard Clue, 90k. And that's Zenite Shard number 4. So we've been getting spammed with loads of Black Demon tasks. And the fourth Zenite is out of the way. I'm still going to do these, obviously, just for the cash afterwards. But um, yeah, I think I was about 1,500 kills for the four Zenites. So it probably took a bit longer than it had. Uh, well, the first five Zenites on the account I got were... Uh, in 500 kc so it probably uh, deserved to think and yeah but heavy frame good old heavy frame to um yeah just need a monkey tail hard close crawl number 681 418k good old espori 83 and yes would you believe it the zoom in tells you what you need to know bottomless compost bucket uh, number five i think on the account now in 83 and a decent one there rune defender ornament kit Got myself an Aviancy's task and thought, you know what, let's try to tie, try a bit of our Armadale Gob Wars with the uh, Twisted Bow. Uh, did it with my brother, decided he had Aviancy's as well, so I thought we'd both go for the first trip. And let's just say it went very, very well. KC number 10, Armadale Chain Skirt. Yes, that's a very expensive drop from uh, the Big Bird. Um, 33 mil, I think, so in the end it was split for 16 mil. Um, yeah, to get that on KC10 is extremely lucky. It's uh, mirrors my Saradome in luck, to be honest. Um, getting that hilt on 25 KC, and then yeah, just seeing that uh, red or pink or purple text on the ground is a very, very nice sight. And a bonus to doing this boss. 11 kills later, or well, for me, 11 kills later, and my brother got himself a Godsword Shard too, so he's got the old ACB and Diamond Dragon Bolts, and some of the times he out DPSs me comfortably. Twisted Bear is very, very hit and miss here, uh, much more hit and miss than at uh, Saradome and God Wars, so I'm probably not going to try any solo trips just with the Twisted Bear, I think. I think it's probably too inconsistent for that. I'll have to give the Chinning Method a go um, when I get another Aviancy task. Uh, we decided to uh, end the trip there, and we stayed for quite a while, to be honest. I didn't have too many left, as all the minions count as uh, aviancies as well. But uh, yeah, the profit from that trip, a healthy 34 mil. So if you don't get a drop here, it's pretty trash. But um, the two drops, the chest plate and the um, chain skirt, are very expensive. And the next trip started incredibly for my brother. He got himself a Armadale helmet. That was our first kill of the trip. And that was our task all done, just uh, equipped the Arbidale helmet for the uh, extra bonus instead of the uh, Slayer helm, but I'll sell both of those. And in total, that Aviancy task or Criara, 42 for 33.2 uh, million, a little bit more than that actually according to the price check. But yeah, uh, what a start to our Arbidale God Wars that is uh, in this series. Back to the Spory KC84, looking for as many buckets as possible, and not this time. Good old Dark Bow from the Dark Beasts. Uh, you get a few of these tasks just when you're trying to get a few points. Uh, nice little drop. And a Leaf Bladed Battle Axe. I mentioned by Kurask Luck in the last video and uh, got another one straight away. And our next hard clue scroll. A couple of Guthix pages. 66k. And another ornament kit. Zarket Om. Not too bad. Bought myself an imbued heart. This is a very good upgrade for a lot of places. Uh, paid 30.4 mil for it. Pretty much what I sold it for, I think. Back to Saradome in God Wars. Decided to go here with uh, one of my clan members. Uh, no drops from the boss, but uh, a nice little drop coming from the uh, minion. And a little Godsword Shard 2 for my uh, friend. Congratulations. At least, yeah, at least it's a drop on the trip, I guess. 
But Sarah Doman trip concluded with me on 296 Ziliana at KC. Unfortunately, no drops from the boss on that one, but uh, just to price check from that little session about 1.03 mil according to uh, Runite, although a lot of supplies. And a hard flu scroll for another master. 900 tasks complete on the account, a lovely little 500 points, so tons of points at the moment at the moment for skipping potential. A couple of brimstone keys as well, just did that last task at Kona. Uh, some gold ore from the first one and then magic logs from the second one. And master clue number, I've forgotten, oh yeah, 44, that's it, uh, 342k. And last clue of the video, uh, 39k. That does conclude another episode of having a ton of fun with this uh, mystical bow. I think it's what happens when you uh, examine it. It says, like, yeah, mystical bow. Uh, a Tanzanite Fang, Armadale Chain Skirt, Zenite Shard number four, and a Pet Snakeling uh, being the main unique drops from this video. So, yes, very nice top two drops to get out of the way. Obviously, you need the other um, from Zora. need the Onyx now, the Magic Fang, and the Serp Visage, and then either. Uh, a jar or a mutagen, one of them would be very nice. All the Zenites are done, although I'll keep doing Black Demons just for the profit in general. Also, need another Monkey Tail as well to technically uh, finish my collection log since getting the bow. So, yeah, very decent drops in this video, and nice to switch it up a bit and do a bit about Armadale and also get some drops from Zora. Just to remind you of the uh, goals for the series then, now we are four episodes in, so all unique drops from Zora. So at the moment we are two out of five slash six technically. Um, Commander Ziliana at the moment we've got the Saradome in Sword, Saradome in Light, just need the ACB Hilt and the Pet, uh, the God Sword Shards I'm not too bothered about. Uh, Demonic Gorilla's got all four Zenites now, just need a couple of Monkey Tails to finish those, but we'll do those anyway for the profit. Uh, Dagnath King, not done too many of those so far, but we've got the Berserker Ring already. I uh, haven't touched Alchemical Hydra yet, that's going to come in some later episodes when I start getting tasks from Konar. The other goals being a unique from the Chambers of Zerek that will also be coming in later episodes. Ranger Boots, we've been starting doing some medium clues already. Uh, Third Age, doing plenty of Master Clues and Hard Clues. A Skilling Pet, uh, still doing all the farm runs and the drop from a Superior Slay Monster as well. Uh, hopefully that'll happen uh, eventually if it's uh, no sign of it happening uh, anytime soon. So yeah, that's some of the other goals that I'm aiming for and looking to knock out uh, in this series. And that does conclude the episode. Hope you enjoyed this one. Really nice to switch it up and do more Zora and uh, Armadale God Wars as well. Uh, as for, yeah, as I said, for armor, I'll probably duo it most of the time, I think, with my brother and use the Twisted Bow, although I might try a few trips on my own just with, like, Black Chinchompas or something. But, yeah, no T-Bow, only solos there. I think it would be very inefficient and uh, probably wouldn't be too much fun either. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching the video. Uh, the next one will be out this time next week, as usual. Hope you're enjoying this series so far, and I will see you in the next one. Nice one.